Hello gamers, Bat here, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story on this fabulous apocalyptic weather we're having today. And I just wanted to start off by reading a book. The Wolfstone Castle The partially ruined castle of Wolfstone had a rich history that began centuries ago when it was merely a single square tower. Built to oversee the valuable mines in the surrounding area, the tower was constructed with a great care as the mines were vital to the region's economy and safety. Over time, the tower proved to be a sturdy structure and with it, and it withstood the test of time and the elements. As the years passed, the tower was gifted to a newly risen baron for his accomplishments in some war. The baron was grateful for the gifts and work and worked hard to expand the tower into a fully fledged castle, adding a moat and sturdy walls to protect the area. The castle continued to evolve and expand under the descendants of the original baron as the mines grew even more prosperous. The castle is named after a pack of wolves that lived in the surrounding area which were revered by the local people of their fierce strength and resilience. Thus, the castle became known as Wolfstone, a name that would endure the centuries to come. The last Lord of Wolfstone was an avid reader and writer who spent many hours poring over the vast collection of books in the castle's library. He was a learned man with a keen intellect and a deep understanding of the world around him. He often spent long hours reading by the fire, lost in thought as he pondered the mysteries of life. Despite his love of books, the last Lord of Wolfstone was also a fierce warrior who led his people bravely in battle. He was just a fair ruler who cared deeply for his people and worked tirelessly to ensure their safety and prosperity. However, despite his best efforts, the castle eventually fell into despair. Disrepair. As the mines began to dry up and surround the surrounding area became less prosperous. Today, the partially ruined castle of Wolfstone stands as a testament, testament to a bygone era, a reminder of the rich history and traditions that have shaped the world among us. We traders have settled up in the remaining buildings for shelter and are trying to keep the structure. I assume. The structure. Wolfstone sounds like us. We're, we're building a mighty castle here. We're surrounded by a moat. We have trusty traders among us. Do we hear any traders? This is the back wall for them. I don't know. We will have to go check. But let's go take care of our little book. He has a special home. That we're going to try and avoid. Hello. Oh, they're everywhere. Let's take care of these riffraffs. Not today. I got bandage making material. Hope y'all love that. I went for a huge trip. Want to know where I found this inula? I knew I found it somewhere, and it was in our huge travels that we coasted all the way around here and all these little yellow flowers this is all enola and i found marshmallow the only one over there perhaps but i did not explore anything that we have not been before so i just knew i have seen it somewhere and i just started to take a trip and behold we found it now we can make our great bandages with the uh, materials that I have. And this is going to be a battle to get out of here. You can be gone. Or. Oh they're jumping. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. In the comments. Somebody noticed the gas light lamp here. And. Let's go. And this gasifier. And it just needs coal. So they were curious if it would light the gas lamp. And I'm also curious. Woo, man. How's you doing, little buddy? Look who needs a name. And in the comments, the first name commented, we will name this guy. I did off camera after the fact of our ruined video last time and go back to get one of these little guys. 
and he's awesome. And I think we can get the um, corrupt version of these guys, um, and that's the highest that we can go. And I hear that their uh, health doubles, I think. And I am going to... I, I actually already did that structure that we took down for the... It is over here. Um, for these locusts, uh, I want to go and eventually today and go tear this down so we have some building material to maybe get started on the top part of our build um, that we're going to build. Because this was already placed here as lovely as it is, I still need my own home. So I'm going to take a nap. And maybe take care of these guys. I'm not sure. We could let them despawn or I could take them out. We'll see. Good night. Oh, good morning. And you're still loud. Let's go take care of them, shall we? We, we, we should. Hello. Maybe, maybe not. That's a lot. We've been overrun. Yeah, fight each other, you know, like siblings. Gosh, they're gonna kill us. We've got to despawn these guys. So I'm going to do that task, and I will see you guys in a moment. We are home free at last. Did you get killed by your brother? Mm, nothing good. They did a number on us, but luckily enough, I came home with some goodies. Sup, buddy? You're just hanging out. I got the Yarrow here. And in one of these chests is the treasure from that ruin. So this is everything I managed to get back uh, get back from there. This is a gathering collection I went out to get the Enola. I brought back some sunflowers, some rye, some Enola seeds, marshmallow seeds, celery, dill, and saffron. We've got a bunch of seeds, eucalyptus, sal, cat catalpa a bunch of bear nut seeds because i chopped a lot um we came back with 42 preta and found a astral gear in one of my wear traps and we did have a trader in there last night before i put all this away and i bought the mixing bowl where did i get these right there uh this is uh the other woods elm sal eucalyptus black poplar a little bit of oak it was like one tiny little tree and then we have the metal tank and all the paintings. Actually, I think this one was from a different ruin that has been left here. So let's get to making these bandages. And I believe if we take these with these, they will make Enola and Yarrow Poultice from Reeds. Five hit points. But... We have flax coming, and I don't mind taking some of this flax, we'll make it all, sticking that in between these, and making Enola and Yolar Poultice from linen. And this will give us 7 hit points, so I'm going to definitely make a stack for sure. And then I want some to spare. Now, these do not last for very long whatsoever and I'm going to use these to um, increase our food I put two I put me and Yarrow together so two portions of me I hear you trader and two portions of Yarrow and it gave us only 0.5 hit points actually so that's interesting
I'm not sure why that's not more than one, because if I just put one, it's a lot better. Counts one of those as a... Oh, they are vegetables. Anywho, let's heal ourselves, shall we? Remember to only do one at a time. So, I'm going to off-camera, in quotes, share some snippets and clips of tearing down the ruin that we had found, taking all of this out of. You sound like a saw blade sometimes. Very faint, but you do. And I'm going to tear down the clay stone because I want to get a little more built up in, uh, around here, especially the ugly tunnel I bored out. It is literally just half dirt, half clay stone. Um, so I think that's going to be one of our little projects. And we have a 3x3 three three here. I may um, put some doors in between here and maybe link up the library. Should we link the library? Oh, the library floor is here. Right, right? Oh no, the library floor is up here. So we might be able to just knock a hole out, maybe around here or so, and connect to the library. But, let's go get some building materials, because I, I really don't have enough claystone to repair this building and add on to it without a lot of claystone. I like most of our claystone right here is these polished blocks. No, no, no. We need the aged all of these age normal cobblestone a brick we need it all so that's the biggest structure that we have and just doing one of those buildings like we had a lot of chert to work with just from one of those towers so i will see you guys and just the flash that out And we have made it here. The locusts are still out and about, which is fine. Oh, nope, that was all the food. Good thing we made some, yeah? Let's get these good bandages down there. They're very helpful. I only use like th three, maybe four. Um, but I'm going to take care of these guys probably in the same process of actually tearing it down because we're keeping one of the cages and these guys will just continue and I don't know if my buddy back at home will vanish I've never been a clockmaker before if I tame another one get out of here but I did take um, a few things like this one this one's empty so this is like some of the stuff that I actually took come on I really hate the hitboxes on these guys, but they are still spawning because we kept this dude right here. And it's easier to get them to spawn for sure if you take this bottom block out and hit them. Uh, last time I tried to hit this and they weren't spawning out, so I think they spawn kind of like in a radius now. But this is the church, or not church, uh, we've already gotten church, the claystone structure and all of its glorious contents. Of course, I'm going to have to make a ton of chests again to um, bring it all home because we ru ruined Forge and I want it all. Trash or not? This? Trash. I want it. Why? I'm a collector. Don't judge me, but I'm going to get to destroying all of this as well as the other things in the process. And I did not bring my chest. It was still sitting down on the ground. So I will have to make some runs and see you guys in just a moment.
how have I missed this one? Oh well, it's getting taken out. Alright, we are almost about done with this one. Just these last stairs. We'll keep the uh, perimeter at least. Eh, maybe we'll take that one. This is everything that I have gathered. Not bad of a long haul. So we got tons of this aged polished rock right here. Bunch of claystone. Not as much uh, stone brick and uh, cracked that I thought I was going to get, but overall, not a bad little haul. This is all the ruined stuff. And this is all the decor yada yada stuff that can probably go over here with the rest of the claystone. But not too bad. We got one, two, three, four weapons out of there. A uh, tapestry and a painting. I think we've already taken a painting out of here as well. And then I figured we'd keep these. These have just some clothes in here that I think would be cool in our little armory area. But I'm going to leave this as it is for our little locust nest to come back to. And eventually we'll kind of make a uh, little sanctuary for just this cage to come and get... Um, locusts anytime we want to to tame them so I'm going to I thought that was a locust Roman free I'm going to take all of this home and see you guys back at home bat out Alright guys, we got all of our loot here, and that was a task and a half, I have to tell you. Um, are you? A gazelle over there checking out our beats? Love this area. But the drifters kept throwing rocks at me, and anything I had in my hand would just drop on the ground, so I can only carry one thing on my bag. So, but we are here. Oh, welcome home. Hello, little guy. We need a name. We need a name. 
All right, let me get some things situated and organized out of here and hopefully get some of our uh, our chests back or maybe even on this wall or something and we'll see uh, where we go from there. Later. All right, everything's been taken care of. Last but not least, the uh, armory stuff. Let's see if I can get this place down so I can open a door. There we go. And these little ruin chests, I think, are pretty cool at the uh, the uh, bottom of these. So what we'll do is... Oh, that one's not going to look right, is it? No, it don't. we got a spot over there that might... There we go. Sweet. Some of them have some clothes in it. Some of them do not. And then, last but not least, I think we have everything on here. Let's just double check. Yeah, I think we have everything on there. So I'm just going to toss these in here with the extra stuff. Sounds good to me. And then, our total accumulation of clay stone is right here now. Let's do a little sort. Ugh, don't like that it did that. Let's get it out of here. There we go. These stones, we're full. So, that's fun. We're going to need to start making better crates. As you can see, we have... 1,024 clay stone stones, and that's pretty much all that it can handle, so. And we've already gone through all of that food we brought with us. So we'll have to make a new mill, preferably green. I'm going to gather some potential building material for our tunnel, and I will see you guys in a flash. That out. Alright, we got our food and some blocks. Flax porridge with mashed carrot and yarrow. That we will keep in our bag. And I will just portion out of this. Alright, let's go see what we can do. If I can get up ladders, you know. Still have medium activity, so that'll be fun. So what we need to do is take this wall and this wall out. Sadly, this stuff will have to move. And possibly a top layer as well. The charcoal is done. Oh, we should while we're here, let's go check out no trader. When are you coming? Another two days. And what about you? No trader. Another two days. Oh, 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 six gears. Beautiful. And he only ate a few onions. And what about you? In three days. So you were here then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a total of nine gears just from housing and feeding these guys. So not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to get to taking this down and including that apparently all right it's totally fine you can deal with that into his room that's fine should only just take a, a minute guys I'm sorry Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to toy around with one wall. And then I will do the other side off camera, of course. So I'm just going to randomly start placing these. There we go, and we're out of those. 
Let's hope we brought enough. This one looks like you could go over here a little bit. Wow, was that perfect or what? Alright. And then we're going to come in with the aged. And... Golly. Um, we need to still continue to take uh, some of these out. Alright, and then we're going to fill these blanks in. Do I like that contrast in color there? I don't think I do. What if we did... Just cracked? Yeah. And then let's go in actually with more cracked. And we'll come in with some polished uh, spotted out here. We'll even go there with it. We'll add another one of those. And let's go with. Yeah, that's fine. And then, you know, just spot these out. I know it's a waste of durability to uh, break these out after the fact, but I think that is a pretty good looking haul. And then what we're going to do is we are going to come in the little guy here and a little guy here. This one will need to be taller, that is for sure. Let's actually go quite a little bit, and we'll replace that, unless that is the ground ground. If that's the ground, it is the ground. That is, that's okay. We can half slab it. And then I don't like abrupt uh, edges, so I like to just kind of take some out here and there. And then what we can do is come in with a little bit of this and just randomize it. And then with these, I did want to come down from here. All right. And I'm out. I'll go get more, that's okay. But you see what I'm doing here. I'm going to mimic the same thing over here. And then I'm going to see about getting a wall up behind this. Let's use the extra stuff we have here. So some of this can actually come right back out because I don't want to lose any of these. And I'm going to just stick dirt. So I'm going to do a little bit of that and a little bit of cracked. Some polished. And some more cracked. And there is our kind of like little doorway into there. So let me duplicate this exact same thing on the other side, and I will see you guys when we get some doors in. Alright guys, ready for the door. It's not, a, it's not perfect, but you know, it separates us a little bit. And then I got a door for this one. There we go, look at that. And then what I wanted to also do was come in here with these and make some better stairs here. So I'm going to make three of those, and for that purpose, is if I go here, it should have actually, um, 
those have no audio. Um, maybe I just don't know how to use these. If I wanted... I don't know how to use these. There we go. I got it. I got it. Sweet. So then we can come down. And I don't know what to do about here yet. Let's, I guess, put that in there up there. And let's go in with one of these. Why not? And then to seal this one off over there, I have no more claystone rock. So let's do something a little wild. Let's also get rid of whatever debris is sitting right there. There we go. Bam. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll change that later. But I also wanted to come in here and put a torch up. Let's see if we could find a middle, which there is not. So when we'll go here, when we'll go here, when that time comes. But as you can see, it's a little lit. And I wanted to come in here with some half slabs as well. And I wanted to, well, make bands. I wonder if we should put these where these torches are going to be. I wanted to kind of just spot these out a little. And we have these claystone ones. I'm hoping this is enough. Let's go here. Here. Oh, I think we are one short. We very much so are. And these can come in here just like so. And then if we make these better stairs again. There we go. These are our little pillars in here. And our very tight space here. Do we actually have a middle? No, because I can't apparently count. So, you know. It's fine, it's fine. Nobody will even notice. But yeah, so now we have a safe passage to our charcoal, our traders, and our temporary food storage here. We've got a bunch of these that I picked up, I've made. There is literally not much in here. I'm surprised these have not expired yet. These are like the first things I cut and put in here. So not too bad. Still haven't done anything with the floor because I don't plan to keep it. So yeah, look at, look at that. As we turn the corner, look how ominous that is. Like, where does this go? I love it. I do love it. I missed the block there. Let's add an H to there. Yep. It's looking pretty good. Thinking maybe... No, I think it's okay. We do need to change out that dirt a little bit, so. But not a bad transition from going three high to four high um, to accommodate for this. Sorry, I'm just going back and forth, guys. I love it so much. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, but yeah, so we'll just start sprucing this place up with little kind of tours like this, you know? Like... We still needed to um, make an entrance from the library out to here. So what we could do is probably take out a section here. Um, 
when we've kind of hollowed this section out um, on the other side of the wall for that. So now we can come in here. We can uh, decorate just a little bit. I don't want to put too much clutter in there. Well, we could put a whole ruined brazier in there. We could put a ruined lantern. And we could put maybe a couple cobwebs. Let's take some of those. So maybe a ruined table as well. Oof, my own locust, man. It sounds like a saw blade. I don't know if it, you guys picked that up, but man. Um, so what we could do here is bam. And then our... Let's put this here. And let's see if we can get it to look like this table has fallen over. Yeah. And the lantern was on top of it. What else do we have? A couple cobwebs? Let's put these in the high sections over here. And it's kind of right in the middle, so it doesn't really matter which side we go. But that's looking good. That don't make any sense right over a uh, brazier. Do you know what? They could both just be in the corner. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we need some stuff over here. Let's take you with. Oh, bam. Let's go with... Let's go with some of these shelves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't make any sense with the bed in there. Ooh, maybe these uh, little crate things. I would like a double stacked one. Here's a uh, almost empty one. Just gonna have to go through these for just a second, guys. Let's do that one too. I'm looking for the double stacked. There we go. Just want one of those. Could even put some stuff in the entrance here. So let's go with. A shelf here. Yeah, yeah. And some stack crates in one of these corners. How about this one since it doesn't have as much? And then what else did we have? I think that was it, guys. Alright, let me know what you guys think. Should be uh, fairly safe in here now, except for we still need a, uh, a door here. Because I did take it. And let's go and grab some of this charcoal. I want to test this uh, uh, gasifier out. Let's grab at least eight. There we go. Because I'm not sure how many it's actually going to take. Because I want to see if it will light up anything. No? Oh ho ho, one charcoal. It did, it took it all. Gasifier. Can I close that? You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with this. But for fun's sake, let's light it. Cool. Now can I close it? I'm, I'm right clicking. Oh, that sounds funny. Let's go check our uh, gas lamp. I mean, they're not connected. I don't assume for them to uh, to light. We might need pipes or something. See, that one's got a candle in it or some sort of light. How come this one actually looks like it is trying to light? See the different color? But I don't really see any light. We'll have to uh, check up on that. Plus it's broken. This one's not. This is the one I thought maybe would work. Oh bam. Do you know what? We have some of these blocks. Oh, there's a block like that above it. Let's just go in here with a uh, stair. 
And now we've got to orient this different. There we go. Perfect, like it's meant to be. Alright guys, I am going to also gather some materials. I want to at least get a a template of a sort of bridge here. There are rabbits in here again, man. Get out. Get. It's alright, because I need your food anyways. I hate that. Oh, what the heck? Oh, right, I had to expand these, and I wanted to make sure that this was full, so that also doesn't help. Alright, we got some cuttings, and sorry, I gotta take you out, buddy. And I left this here so it could get replaced here. Oh, bam And then these need to be turned into sap seeds, or whatever they're called, you know? And then let's put it back, but let's put it, let's put it right there. Got some in that line, some of this line, some on that line. Alright, I will see you guys in a moment. I'm also probably going to gather some dirt to fill in the underside of these so the uh, little pesky bastards leave me alone. Look at them. Go into my trap. These are the outlines for uh, the old. Catch you guys in a minute. Alright guys, just about there. We are building out of this cobblestone right here, since most of this is cobblestone. And I'm completely out, but I keep running by this. And we really don't need um, this wall here anymore. So I'm just going to take it out. And we will figure something out a little bit later. So, just gonna gather those back a little bit. Doesn't give us much, does it? That thing is still going. Room stove. It's just this claystone rock. This all must be the uh, same structure here. Not sure, guys? Right, so we'll get a little bit here. So I want the two steps. Ooh, do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Let me see about this height right here. Hi. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um. Because we want it to just kind of go straight out. And then start to curve and hit here. And still be able to boat under it. So these stairs are going to have to be pushed back. Which is totally fine by me. And I'm going to take... Oh wow, they even hollowed it out too. What a bunch of cheaters. They're uncreative when they make these. Just kidding. Let's take these though, for real. And I did put my dirt away. Awesome. Let's go get some dirt. Alright. Let's fill this in. I don't need any spawns. From pesky drifters driving me nuts. Alright, and then we can go. Like this. I'm gonna have to come back in here and uh, fill this in. I don't wanna make another run. But that will be the two, right? Yeah, I think so. And then we'll come on back over here. The previous steps. 
I am going to want this back. Can I just get up here? Oh, perfect. Let's put those away. And I'm just gonna grab the deer. I want to take care of it now. I don't want to worry about it later. All right. Still wish I had pick block, guys. This is so sad. All right. Which means we need to go here and here. Just get it to match the top part here. And I still don't have very many of these cobblestone blocks left. But essentially what's going to happen is... Let's see, is 8 enough? No. 2, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. But I just want to uh, get a little bit started here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to chisel all of these blocks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with these expensive wood pieces. I know, I know, it's crazy, right? And I'm going to do that with every single one of these. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, right. Welcome back. Welcome back. So what we're gonna do is from right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is these are gonna go just like this, and eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna take a big chunk out of this. And we're going to leave some, because I want to come in here with another block. And then that does that. But with the wood, what I want to do is take this and do all of this. Alright, and I will see you guys when it's done. Alright guys, so as you see, we've got it going, but what I don't like, I don't like flat surfaces. So what we're going to do is come in here a little bit and just add some of this back. And then from there, you kind of just chisel out little pieces. wherever I've taken these out at. Alright, and then we'll do this one. Do that one much larger, I think. And come up here. And then what I like to do is just kind of go into every little corner as best as I can. All right, we'll leave at least one of those. All right, and it kind of looks like, um, and then what we'll do, oh, I wish I would have went down just a little bit further. I would like this to be lower a little bit, like the wood has kind of deteriorated. So let me do that and we'll come right back guys. Alright, and we have our final product. So if you can see there is like a little bit of variation difference going on. And that just breaks it up from being so flat. Um, a lot of the things I do, I don't like flat surfaces. So um, when I chisel, I, I chisel. I, I try to detail as much as possible. Um, but this is kind of what it will be like and then we'll slap another block up here or even a different wood type 
Um, and we'll just do the um, full size block and we'll just chisel it down to, let's say, oh, it's not chiseled, I can't show you. But I would say maybe, yeah, this size. So that's what we'll do uh, when we get to that part. So, uh, oh, I got this from the uh, blacksmith room. Let me go put this back because, you know, I'll forget. So let's put it here. Why not? But um, what I'm going to do is probably, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I can make these cobblestones, so that's really, really easy to go and do. And maybe we'll at least finish this uh, base structure today. So let me make up some cobblestone. Let's also get these railings back. There we go. They might come back out. I'm not sure. So let's grab some of this. And some of all these extra stones. And bam. We've made our co cobblestone. No worries. Let me get these uh, chiseled up and um, put in here a little bit and we'll uh, chisel for a little bit. That out. Alright guys, so I got uh, just a little bit of a uh, base structure going on here. And so what we do with this part is, yes, this is the perfect shape. And this is all that I have been doing. Except, we are going to cut half of this last block off, because that will be our starting of our stairs. Alright. So what we have here is... I could take this whole section off right there. And we got to make sure these are the same. So we've got two left here. So we need... That's got two. So I think that's alright. And then let's chisel that one. There we go. Yep, I think that looks really good. And then chisel this one. Perfect, perfect. And then let's come in here with this guy. Should be okay. And then we'll add a piece here. Actually, we don't need to do that. That's a waste of material. Not that it really is material or anything. Um, oh, right. Let's get those ones done. And then I should be able to... Oh, no, no, no. I cannot. So we are going to have to go back just one more. Which is fine. this block thank you okay it'll be covered up that's all right if that thing's down there and then this edge will go As will this. And there we go. Could have made it a little bit more... 
slanted, I guess. Instead of going step, 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 we could have gone one, one, two in, and then one, one, two in. We could toy around with it later. But once there's some kind of railing up here, I think this will look a little bit better. And then we can always come in here and add... I can't add them. That's right. So what you do is... Actually, I like it a lot better with these up here. Gives it a little bit more character. And that is that. Uh, we'll eventually get a railing across on top of that. And we'll have a lot of these kind of like this going from little island to island. Um, they might go a little higher. At least for up here. And we'll curve this up a little bit. And shave this down a little bit as we go. But this spot right here is kind of annoying me a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is chisel, 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 chisel. And then we'll go in with this one here. There we go. And that gives that just kind of like a little base structure. And we'll do the same thing right here. Um, we need to bring these back. So we need to come back under here and do that. Something's a little off here. There we go. I think it was just that. And we'll do it one more time. Perfect. And then we can always come in here with like, I don't know, let's, let's toy around with it a little bit. Just do a, a couple things here. Can even come back in here and add in a little tiny little pillar. There we go. And voila. We'll waterlog those here in just a moment. My bucket is right there. Perfect. We can do this very simply. As I hear it. Oh, we can't waterlog these anymore? Or does it have to be a certain amount that is um, taken out? Well, we could fix that later. I think just, I just need to take more of this out. Ah, oh, there we go. Just the one. Perfect. Now I think I can do it myself. There we go. There we go. I feel like that one went. I still hear it. Let's see. Whenever it starts to take me in, when it sucks you in, you know you got a uh, spot without water. So see how it's like moving me in here a little bit? I wasn't doing that. So I'm just gonna kind of just do that a little bit. And there we go. We're not moving. And we're not moving. But man, do I still hear the water. I will figure it out off camera. But that way it kind of like uh, fits in with the water a little bit there. I really like that they allowed us to waterlog chiseled. So when you're making kitchen sinks, it's actually pretty cool. Nope, still there. Maybe that's just a regular sound, but... Um, and then eventually we can come in here and like when I'm just bored or something, you know, I can just come in here and make kind of a little structure here, like support. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Always make sure you come in here and do something. Doesn't matter what it is. Just do something so you don't have a, unless that's the look you're going for, you know? Um, Let's go back with this bigger guy. I think that's kind of what I did. And we'll do that. Come in here. Just the simple little things. Yeah, I think it would look really good if this was more rounded. 
so we'll have to play around with that a little bit but all right that's what she looks like for now um, we'll uh, get some type of template going um, we can get the oh what's it called the the pantogram the pan panto pantograph yes and of course you can only make them in the uh, top tier so I will be making an iron one for now and once we get into steel making we will always be making steel pantographs steel hammers and steel chisels um, and for that reason is because I chisel a lot and I really hate using copper chisels um, so yeah don't forget to give us a little name for our little guy um, he needs a name so in the first comment with a name I wish we could name tag them, but we'll always remember his name. And I think he is stuck up there. Let's tell him to not wait. He follows. Let's get him down here. Yeah, there you are, little guy. Yeah, go take a nap. Alright. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Until next time. And next time, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe today and in the future. Ring that bell and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bad out.